Previously I had automatically provisioned a new development box and now my task is to set up the development environment. I'm going to use Fabric to automate this. Just before I begin, nothing is functional, there's no sites folder and if I try and connect to the web server it's not there. So pretty quickly, once I've run this function within the fab file, uh, all of those problems will be sorted and I'll, I'll be ready to start development work. So this function basically just calls a number of sub-functions. These are also used in a full staging and production deployment. So the next trick is to run the script. Access is over secure shell. It's now set up the requisite folders in the sites folder. And it's ready to pull down the files from GitHub. And away it goes. So it's now running through all the pip installation packages. I'm not going to show those because it does have package version numbers and it, that takes a couple of minutes. So it has now finished that. It's also set up the log files and it's ready to configure the database. So first of all it checks to see does the database user exist. Okay, it now finished and two minutes and 43 seconds later I've got my database set up. The default Django development environment uses the SQLite 3 database engine, but I prefer to use the same engine that I'm going to use in production, which is MySQL. It makes the transition from development to staging or production a lot easier. Obviously it's different data. You would never use um, production data in a development or staging deployment. There's no real other differences between staging and, and production other than, well, there's no web server. If you're just using the internal Django development server. There's no need for separate media and static folders. They're just going to be served by the Django development server too. So you need to take care of all those slight differences. Right, let's try and fire up the development server. That's running. I'm going to try and access that now. Yeah, it's it's up and running. Clearly there's no data, uh, no users, no courses, nothing. And I can load those from fixtures um, if I want to. Or I can just go ahead and register and create courses. Okay.